as you know, Jamyang is a, a Buddhist center for many decades, and um, there are a few things very important, right? According to, as you see, His Holiness Dalai Lama actually giving advice in the monastic institutions in South India to people who actually uphold the Dharma, right, in, in the future. Then His Holiness once was very moving. He said to the monastics, um, you know, it was a big gathering, monks and nuns, a few thousand. He said, who of you think or can say that you're really studying quite well? So, of course, everybody wants to offer their, their kind of, you know, offering of, of study, right? So everybody raised their hands. And says, okay, and someone said, okay, it's your responsibility to preserve the Dharma. I cannot do it all by myself. Which was a very moving kind of statement, but it's, it's a very essential one, you know. So that means Jamyang is a center in the UK, a center in the West. Yeah? So we also, for the purpose of, of benefiting sentient beings, we have to do various activities, right? So we have to do secular activities or secular aspects of Buddhism, so to say. And uh, in order to be able to do that aspect, we also need a, we need a core kind of education. Yeah? So His Holiness always said in the monastic institutions, okay, the main focus is the in-depth studies. Yeah? So the 20-year the studies we engage in in, in the Galuk tradition, so to say, or yeah, in other traditions it's a, it's a bit less. But the main, the core aspect, His Holiness always said, is the in-depth studies. Then the branches of that is the secular education to the community, so to say. Because if you lose out the core, then you cannot really deal with the branches, right? So that's kind of a very vast vision of His Holiness. Another vision of His Holiness, as you know, is this incredible threefold vision of, of Buddhist mind science, philosophy, and the path of the Buddhist practice, right? So the first two, mind science and philosophy, are more of a secular nature, or you can present it in a secular or universal nature to society, which reaches out in a much bigger public, right? Without some people are not interested in religion or, or, or being a believer whatsoever. Yeah, so that have you have the, the, the two secular aspects of Buddhist mind, science, and philosophy, and then the Buddhist part or the Buddhist practice, which is an authentic, pure tradition. Yeah. So if you keep that system, you keep. The, the, the teachings of the Buddhist, of the Buddha in the Nalana tradition as we study, you keep that pure and then you use various aspects out of that to benefit society in various ways. Right? So that's a very vast vision. So yeah, Jamyang is a part of a big organization, as you know, FPMT. So also Jamyang has a responsibility right, to, to help and, 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 and um, according to the advice of His Holiness in the particular also, Lama Zopa Rinpoche's vast visions of the center. So, in a similar way, Jamyang is very similar in that regard. You know, we have a core aspect of, of the Buddhist education, as Ramadoma already indicated, we have three uh, in-depth. I mean, you know, for the West, it is, it is not compared to 20 years, of course, of studies, but it is quite substantial. You know, we have a two-year program discovering Buddhism at the moment, right? And we have a three-year program, the new course we're developing together with the FPMT, is exploring Buddhism, right? And we have the five year, we say five years to the students, but actually it's more than five years, but you know, it's five and a half years, I think almost six, of the basic program, right? Which is a more in-depth uh, kind of, uh, so there's three programs there. And then we have about several hundred students in those programs, right? And you can see people change and people so dedicated and it's very inspiring. Some people, in Australia, New Zealand, or, or uh, West Coast, in the, in the East Coast, right, in the US, they get up at 2.30 in the morning, in the weekends, to attend basic program, which is very impressive, you know. And then, of course, every course has its dropouts, yeah, that, that's uh, everywhere. But it seems to be the case that the dropout rate is quite low at Jamyang, because we have an incredible supportive kind of um, aspect to these courses. We have teacher, teaching assistants, we have people who can do reviews, we have many people involved behind the scenes who help out. So for those, what we call the three, uh, yeah, in-depth, right, long-term programs, they go very well, you know, and, 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 and that's kind of one of the main responsibilities for Jamyang to keep that going in the future. So you need an incredible team. Because, you know, behind the scenes, I just open my mouth and say a few things about Dharma. But then behind the scene, we have an incredible team 
led by Verma Droma and, and Wang, Verma Wangyal and, and many others, you know, people uh, involved to help out. So that's quite an amazing teamwork to, to, to give the sustainability of, and for that purpose, of course, as Verma Droma indicated, we need also for the future a plan like that because we have an international audience, right? We have, we have a lot of things online these days, so we need the facilities for that as well, you know, for, for the teams. Um, yeah, to function. So that's one aspect. And then, of course, Jamyang has also various programs, introduction like, uh, you know, the, the, the kind of uh, Dharma Express and Dharma Cafe and introduction to Buddhism, introduction to meditation. So there's very interesting aspects there. And as you know, also Science and Wisdom Life, we started, what is it, two and a half years? Yeah, that's also, is, it seems to go quite well. You know, within a short period of time, we're able to connect with quite well-known and respected scientists and engage in dialogues and now we just launched the first online course, right? So that's kind of quite an achievement for, for Jamyang, I think, you know, to, to, to do that as well. So that's kind of more the secular aspects, right, of, of, of science. And there's much more coming up in, 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 in that, that field of, of, yeah, we have many more ideas to do more with other forms of faith within the, the science, and wisdom, uh, science and wisdom life kind of project, yeah, so there's a lot of things. And a lot of developers with universities as we just starting to, 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 to work with that a little bit more, yeah, so also we have some connections with Oxford now and giving talks there, so let's see how that develops, right? So that's all, I think, very inspiring and, 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 and then, of course, on the Wednesdays, it's also very interesting <laughs> because, you know, for me, it's always checking out how far can you get, how traditional can you explain, in what depth can you explain, right? So in the, on the, it's a very interesting development as well, next to the three uh, kind of programs we just mentioned of discovering Buddhism, exploring Buddhism and basic program. On the Wednesday evenings, we have this kind of dive into emptiness philosophy kind of years. Yeah, we have went, went to various uh, more, more kind of traditional texts over the last few years. And this year we, we, we have a very traditional topic, what we call the, the yeah, uncommon points of the consequence school, or the Prasangika school of Buddhist philosophy. And then, also there, we have a quite a stable group of people. And if you see the level of the questions, then I think this is really working, right? Because we're just trying that over the last few years. Because emptiness is very important, as you know. So that's also going quite well, you know. And then in the future, what we also try to do is to run those three programs constantly. So we have then every year or at least every two years in, in certain programs, people have an entry. Yeah? So that's also very su for the sustainability of education, very important. Yeah? So, and as you know, discovering Buddhism is kind of the introduction to the Lamrim, so to say. And then this new course we're designing with uh, FPMT is this exploring Buddhism that goes a step further and prepares the students for the basic program. Yeah? So we have lined up a kind of uh, the next basic program will start 2026 and then in between we're going to run uh, a few discovering Buddhism and a few of exploring Buddhism courses so that people are, that we build up a kind of uh, yeah, group of, of, of new students, so to say, to enter in the basic program. You know? So that uh, seems to go all quite well and the interest seems to be there because every time I think, what, start another new course, I don't think there will be much people interested, but then all of a sudden we have another hundred people plus signed up, right? So it's, it's very interesting that, that it seems to work the way we're going, so we try to uh, yeah, make sure that in the near future we have these kind of uh, possibilities for people to start new courses, because that's the main emphasis of, of Jamyang. And then, as we see already now, that students who, who are halfway through a program like basic program or other courses, they start to be able to help out in facilitating with meditation or, or discussions or review sessions. So that's very interesting to see that the, the in-depth study programs, they actually, over the time, they, they actually, I, I shouldn't say produce, <laughs> but actually, yeah, people come up who have the qualifications and the capacities to do things on, on the introduction level and slowly, slowly uh, lead all those, those people to, to a better understanding of the Dharma, right? So that's, in one way, it's, it's quite amazing, actually, what's happening 
in, in, in Jamyang, uh, I think, uh, from the point of view of the Dharma education. And then, yeah, the aspects of the secular uh, aspects as well, as we um, already started with a few, uh, yeah, kind of programs like, like Science of Wisdom Life and Introduction to, to, to Buddhism. And yeah, we have many more ideas uh, based on the Science and Wisdom Life as we have our first course just launched on quantum mechanics and, and, and Buddhist philosophy. So next year there will be a new course launched about um, yeah, consciousness, uh, basically the consciousness and emotions, right? And those kind of topics uh, later on, that's the idea to, to collaborate with universities and, and develop kind of secular programs of, of mind and its emotions, right? Or destructive emotions and those kind of aspects that can bring a greater benefit to a bigger public of those who are not interested in the spiritual part or those who are non-believers. Yeah, so those we can present the secular aspects of Buddhism. Is it philosophy or mind science? Yes, yeah, so we have the two first courses of science and wisdom life actually aligned with that. Yeah, so then we can uh, later on um, uh, collaborate with, with universities. And there's an, yeah, the idea is basically to, to start designing kind of courses with universities together or one university, let's see how it goes. And then you can actually benefit society on a much uh, greater level, right, with the secular aspect. So, yeah, that's a little bit in short, I think, is it? Uh, what we are doing and what we're planning to do <laughs> in the near future. And, yeah, that in one way is very inspiring, that not just people, individual, they change, but um, people are very dedicated. And that's very interesting to see, you know, that the students are very dedicated. Of course, there are dropouts, but generally speaking, we have a very good core group in all those programs. Yeah, that, that's very interesting to see. And those students, when they graduate, they can help out in various levels. Right? They can help out in Jamyang, they can help out in other centers in the UK or in Europe or in the rest of the world. So that means Jamyang actually is producing uh, people who can help sentient beings, right? And who can help to explain the Dharma, who can help in secular or universal ways. So in that way, that's something I think in an event like this, uh, you know, for the Friends event, a good opportunity and, and uh, also a reason to rejoice, right? That's very important to rejoice in all the incredible um, things that we have accomplished. And that's not only thanks to the new team, right? That's I also try to indicate because Jam Yang existed many decades before, uh, you know, I came here, for example, right? So, so that's also very important to understand and to think about the great teachers of the past, like Genshe Wanchen and Sarami Kenrimshi, Genshe Tachi Tirangla, you know? So, and then all the previous directors of Jamyang and, and the SBCs and the volunteers, that's an incredible group of people who, who were so day and night sometimes for long periods of time took care of Jamyang, right? So that's also very important to to think about all those people over the last few decades who helped out in Jamyang in a financial way, dedicated in time, you know, that's actually what I, I think I mentioned that last time, last year already, actually we surfing on top of, of, of that kind of work of the past, right? So that's kind of, we often forget and move on to the future, but it's important to, to, to remember and have gratitude for, for the incredible work that's been done in Jamyang in the past, right? That's, that's for sure very important to, to recall that, you know, um, because thanks to them we're here, basically. Yeah? And, and now, yeah, uh, it seems to go in a particular direction, so that's from the point of education. And then we try to support this education, of course, thanks to we need financial help. And, and then also, of course, what Venom Droma indicated, merit. Yeah, we need accumulation of merit and not just individual, but a collective one. Yeah, it's very important to do things as a group. You know, that, that Jayam, the Jamyang family do things as a group, right? So, uh, because we have individual karma, but also as a group, we have a connection with each other, right? So then, uh, a few years ago, we came to the first project of uh, honoring the lineage part one, as you know. <laughs> so, uh, there's just an opportunity that Lama Zopar Mishé always emphasizes holy objects. And it's true, many people who come here, they, they feel there is some peace. Right? We had one person who came and said, oh, it's quite busy over here, but I feel so at peace. And he said, I don't know what you're doing here, but I think you're doing a very good job. 
<laughs> That's a very interesting comment, right? So holy objects actually create, in one way, a create a kind of positive energy. That's one aspect. And then when we gather those holy objects, when we do, I mean, we do fundraising, and not the fundraising is not just to get the money. That's not the real purpose, right? The fundraising is for many people to make a connection, yeah, and to have this collective karma being created, you know, and and because. Jamyang depends on, on the community, the family of Jamyang. Right? It's not just a team that, that does all the work. No, no, we depend on the karma from each and every individual student as well, as well as those who support, as well as those who volunteer. You know, so we all connected in one way. So in order to 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 do something as a, as a community, we had this idea to do 100 Linux One project, which is yeah basically finished two years ago, I think. And then, yeah, that corner was done, and then that corner, I thought, maybe we have a, a part two. And you, you can see behind the screens, the statues are already filled and consecrated, but we had some obstacles getting the carpentry done, but it will happen in October, right? Yeah. So that's honoring the Linus part two done. Yeah. And then, as you know, we just finished and concluded part three. Yeah, so I thought to have a few more tangas uh, uh, for, for Jamyang. So... The seven dependents of Nalanda, as his holiness Dalai Lama indicates, that's the core of the Nalanda tradition. Yeah, so that's why we have uh, we, we, we got a tanga of the seven dependents, and that's actually a tanga designed by his holiness Dalai Lama himself, right? The way it's been organized. So we got a, a print from that, and of course, Lama Chirpa uh, merit fields uh, from uh, yeah, uh, good, uh, yeah, from from. Uh, the Gluk traditions, uh, all the lineage masters, and then as we do, also to support Jamyang, as as uh, accumulation of merits, removing obstacles. Every week we do Tara Puja. Every week we do Medicine Buddha Puja. So that's also why we have those two new tangas uh, there as well. And there will be uh, very fancy and nice lightning coming up very soon. And then on top of that, also I taught in the in the little. Meditation, they say, meditation room, a uh, little temple there in the small temple, right? Then also, I thought maybe good to get a standing Guru Bhima Sambhava statue to remove obstacles for the master plan. And the master plan involves, Trenum uh, Drama didn't say how much it all costs, but <laughs> <laughs> it involves quite some money, right? But anyway, there's possibility of, of government funding, but still, we need as a community also to create courses for that, right? So that's why we also got this well deity for Sharvana, right? Yeah, we'll take a seat uh, there on the meet. Uh, yeah, so also that's part three, honoring the lineage, so that's also done. Yeah, we still do the filling of the statue. We still have to do some mantra rolling and filling, but so that creates the, the right causes and conditions. And of course, Jamyang, we as a team, we, we do regular pujas, yeah, we do Every, I said every week, Dara and, and Medicine Buddha, and we do protector pujas and Lama Chirpa talk and, and various others kind of pujas to remove obstacles and to, to create the, the right conditions. I think that as a community is very important as well, you know. And then, of course, on the special days, we have events with, with, with the community, physically or online, when we do praise together on the holy days. Yeah? And also the Tibetans, they come, so <laughs> we always, uh, yeah. Uh, have one hour with in, in, in English and then one hour in Tibetan. <laughs> yeah. So it is very interesting and very nice. I think that's very important to do that. Yeah, yeah. So that comes. Uh, we come almost to the end of this session, and I was thinking, as you are here, you have also connection with Jamyang, yeah. And maybe it's we do a few prayers together. In one aspect to rejoice in in what's been achieved in the last few decades, right? And also to to dedicate that merit in the future that Jamming can be even more greater benefit in the best way that is possible and the best way that is possible and be of the greatest success in all the projects and study programs and that all obstacles may be removed uh, for that purpose, right? So that is, is good to do as a community and you as, as friends of Jamyang also helping out uh, some of you for, for many years, you know, so I really also from the depth of my heart would really like to thank you and I really appreciate your, your kind help you've given to Jamming in the past and you're giving in the present and, and you might uh, help out in the future, right? So that's very, very... Um, because we, th there is financial support is needed, right? In the West, you need, uh, you know, that there's, that there's, that's, quite that's quite logical if you think about the sustainability 
of, of Jamyang in the future with, with a master plan, it makes a lot of sense to, to go in that direction. Yeah? If, you, if you really want to develop, if you really want to have sustainability also financially, then it makes a lot of sense to invest now and then for many decades you settled. You know? So that's kind of, uh, yeah, so that's also from the depth of my heart, we really like to thank all of you for all the support you've given in the past and, and still giving. And uh, yeah, please uh, think about Jam Yang whenever you <laughs> like to help out, you know, because I think it's a, uh, yeah, generally speaking, quite beneficial place. Yeah, that's also initially also when I came here in 2019, also I didn't know how long I was going to stay. <laughs> because first year, I was, first year I was checking things out, but now uh, I'm a kind of, a, a kind of um, the hermit type kind of personality. So I like to stay in remote places quietly by myself. But then, of course, uh, Lama Zopa uh, had uh, also something to say. But yeah, also seeing, uh, not that Rinpoche is telling me, but also seeing that, uh, yeah, it's going quite well in Jamyang. So yeah, I feel that there's some benefit of being here, right? So then uh, I think, uh, yeah, and that's all thanks to you as well. You know? So thank you very much for all that. And then I would like to invite you to do a few prayers together as a dedication and also to uh, remove the obstacles uh, for the future. So what we uh, plan to do is uh, you have this little booklet called Daily Prayers. That's our Jam Yang uh, prayer booklet at the moment. <laughs> yeah. So then we start on page 12 to, to do some dedications. And then uh, we do the first two dedications of page 12. And then we move to uh, the return prayer for Lama Zopa Rinpoche compiled by His, by His Holiness. You know, because without Lama Zopa Rinpoche uh, FPMT um, is very difficult, right? So we have to, as a community, also pray for Lama Zopa Rinpoche's swift return. And then we continue with uh, the prayer book uh, called Daily Prayers on page 13. Yeah. Okay, so uh, before we start uh, to, to uh, dedicate, you know, and pray, then also try to, uh, for, uh, yeah, for a minute or half a minute or so, try to rejoice in the incredible um, effort that has been put in Jamyang in the past and uh, hundreds of students, uh, if not more, have benefited over all those decades, you know, and think about all the people who are helping out, dedicating time or financially or, 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 or uh, felicitating kind of various courses, you know, so think about and the various teachers of the past I just mentioned, you know, so rejoice in incredible um, things Jamyang have done until the present, yeah, so maybe first for about, think about that for about half a minute. And I think this is, it created a kind of a huge amount of merit, of virtue, uh, yeah, including creation by yourself, including creation by others uh, of the Jamyang family. So I think that all that merit that we have created, we dedicate for various purposes. And that's uh, the purpose of the spreading of the Buddha Dharma, His Holiness Dalai Lama, long and healthy life, the swift return of uh, Kyabji Lama Zopa Rinpoche, and then of course, for all sentient beings to uh, achieve the realization of bodhicitta and emptiness and to get proper conditions uh, for future developments. Uh, so think in, in those lines where we recite uh, the prayers together, right? And think also then that you making the prayer and the prayer itself and the aim we dedicate to it too are in the nature of dependent origination, right? In nature of interdependence and that's exactly why things are empty of inner and existence and that's exactly why a prayer will be a fruit. You know? Yeah, so thinking that and then we side together. Page twelve. Dagi Jine Sabe Gewa Di Tendan Doa Gundan Kamberda Kiba Jetsun Lozan Draba Yi Tembe Ningbo Ring Du Sel Ji Gare Rawe Korwe Zingam So Pendan Dewa Malu Jongwe Me Chere Zigwan Tenzing Gyatso Yi Jabeshi Deba Du Deng Yu Chik. 
Then we go to, if you have the booklet, uh, return prayer for Lama Zopa Rinpoche by His Holiness on page number five. This booklet, page number five. The other booklet. Yeah. Return, return prayer, the other booklet. Yeah. Vicky, this one. Yeah. Yeah, she has it on there. Yeah, that's one. Yeah, page five. Yeah. Ale, you don't have then, you just you pray. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Peerless teacher, an assembly of children of the victorious ones, Shravakas and Pracheka Buddhas. Victorious Lozang, father and son, along with your lineage masters. All the objects of refuge in infinite lands, please bestow the virtue and goodness of accomplishing this prayer here and now. Holding and spreading the Muni's precious and complete teachings to explanation and practice, you ward a more of patience that is never discouraged. Incomparable Verba Guru, to you I make request. Striving single pointly for the sake of the victorious one's teachings, the sole gateway to which all benefit and happiness emerge. And the mother of living beings, you certainly part of the peace, what a great loss. Nevertheless, to the unsteeping truth, the blessings of the oceans of the three jewels, and the great waves of Bodhicitta of the children and the victorious ones, may the smile of an incarnation swiftly give the glory in fortunate disciples. Then we go back to page number 13 of the daily prayers. 13. Du <laughs> Janjo sem jorin boje magye panange yuchi kyeba nyamba meba ya gone gonde bawa sho toni tawarin boje magye panange yuchi kyeba nyamba meba ya gone gonde bawa sho as long as space remains as long as sentient beings remain until then, may I too remain to dispel the suffering of my great warrior beings. May the king of Dharma, Sankapa's way of Dharma practice flourish, and may the omens of absolutely pacified and all conditions circumstances be complete. To the power of my finger point request to you, Lozandrapa, may all unfortunate manifestations of degenerated age, illness, famine, quarreling, epidemic diseases, gunless spirits, and fears, and so forth, pacify, and excellent collection and creations increase. Please bless me that all my wishes should be fulfilled. By invoking the power of love and kindness and compassion of Chenrezig, and to the force of making extensive prayers, may all sickness, war, fighting and famine be completely pacified, so that beings have long, healthy and happy lives. May the glorious Guru's life be long and stable, and may all beings equally extend space of happiness. And may I and others, without exception, accumulate merit and purify negativities, and may be blessed to quickly attain Buddhahood. Gewa Gunda Yanda Lama Dan Dame Chigi Bella Longi Sada Langi Yanda Razu Doje Changi Gobanyo Do And then to conclude, as um, we have, we're going to start with the master uh, plan, so to get all the right conditions together and to um, yeah, get auspiciousness for. The right development, and we cite the prayer on page number 18, same booklet, 18. Yeah, a prayer with Lamas Obrimshe recommends a lot at the beginning, especially at the beginning of starting new projects. So, yeah, we also think that uh, Jamyang may it also flourish and develop in the near future, and then also in, in relation with uh, the master plan to be accomplished um, in the right way for sustainability in the future in various ways. You know? O Nansi Nanda Ranji Lundu Behetashi Jogjo Jena Jogbai Zanye Joda and Gedan Babu Zo Gunla Jazan Daja Tashi Sho Dume Gelbo Zendun Dundu Gon Jambe Gebe Geda Beldamba 
Gülang gomba gece dag bacen lumbo da zelda belda Zemjen tamje lago dag ba pe yeje zebe zeba rafelte Zenza dreba taji belbe wa dewa jagba gela chatse Jambe jeune belle de doje zen chere zegwa gombo jampa bel zai nimbo dimba namba se nange nimbo bajo gundu zan ube doje galu jin norbu dawa relti nima Jazen lena taji belgi jo janju semba gela chase. Rinje dojo taji zegi ni dum jo bumza ying o kamala. Nada duda bunzo bebe mino gelze wangyu koro. Rinje da jo nge gi cha jen je jo du gyal wa jo jin gi gi ma Gi zo ngo wa dang ba pel be wa da shi la mo gi la cha tse Zang ba jen bo de jo zi mi bo mi to dang da nge bo yu go zong Bagye potan lewa mimi zan nam de zhejje la zi ngolo na. Zizhye la dan du jun du jye jen bi wa rao ti jye jen gya zin zin. Zazu ni zo nge le ta shi bi ji de ngyong wa gya la cha tse. Nda cha den di zong ma zong ba la ge da nye wa zhe wa kyun shi ni Dun dang bel wan sam de ye shen du Ta shi de le kyun zong so ba shu Okay, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your evening, I should say. Yeah. <laughs>